Hey everybody, it's Ozzy Rodriguez bringing you the next video in the PSD to Dynamic for Genesis tutorial series. Uh, in the first video, well, we got our WordPress set up, our themes uploaded and activated, and we started adjusting the body, the wrap, and the header. Um, so we, right now our site looks like this. Um, in this video, we'll be doing the primary navigation and the header navigation. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to want to make sure that we have a menu activated for the primary navigation. Uh, so we'll save that. And since we're going to have a search box there, we'll go to Genesis um, Theme Settings, enable extras on right side, make sure we have search form selected, save settings. So now if we do a refresh, we see our menus here and we have the search form on the right side. We can go to dynamic design, go to nav, and start working. Uh, the main font, we're going to make the lobster font, which is used in a lot of places on the site. Uh, we're going to make the font a little bit bigger, we're going to bump it up to 16. Uh, we don't want to underline it, and we're going to take off the universal font control. So if we ever change anything in the body, uh, like colors or fonts or whatever, it won't change it here. Uh, for the inactive uh, hover and active page font colors, um, for the inactive we're going to use this brown that we use for their universal heading font control. Hover color, we're going to leave that red. And then the active color, we're going to make it that same red. And take off the universal control. Uh, Subpage fonts, nav extra fonts. Um, we can change this to nine, and that'll be. So right now we see that our fonts are updated. Um, search form is still the, in the same spot. Uh, for the main background, so I'm going to go ahead and add it here, but we're going to do something a little bit different. So the image, um, it's going to be the top nav BG. And for the color, we're going to want to go into our PSD file. We'll zoom in and we'll get this color. Copy. And we'll just paste it right in here. Now for the inactive page backgrounds, page hover backgrounds, and the active page backgrounds, we're going to set these to transparent. Uh, we're going to get rid of the main border and the individual border, and we're going to want to move the nav placement above the header. And we can save changes. Now if we do a refresh, we can see what we're working with. So it's starting to take shape, but um, there's some stuff that we have to do differently. Um, so our, if we look at, um, in the first article, it said, OK, we're going to use a search box instead of the uh, e-commerce stuff. Um, but we're not going to use the default uh, search box that comes with it. So we're going to go over to uh, search here. Uh, the search form font, we're going to change it to that color. Search button font, you can change it, but we're actually going to do away with that search button font. Um, search form background, we're going to use uh, no repeat center, and we're going to use our search with no color for the background. We don't want a border. And our search form width, we're going to make it the size of the uh, the search uh, image logo, or the search image uh, that we installed. So now if we do a refresh, 
we can see. So the button's still there. Um, there's some weirdness going on here. Um, but we're going to actually fix that with our custom CSS. So I've already actually I've already got the front end uh, CSS builder activated, but you're going to want to go to dynamic custom CSS, activate the front end CSS builder, save changes, and do a refresh. And then this button, you'll see this button come up. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing I see is the search box. So it doesn't. We're going to want to move it away from the top, and uh, add some more space on the bottom. So we can do. We need to make this header bigger. So we'll go back in here real quick. Go to Dynamic Design, the Nav, and for the main font, we'll do a minimum high 55 pixels. So now if we do a refresh, okay, so our header will be bigger, um, except now since our, if you add the, uh, your main background here, it always aligns to the top, and it looks like we're going to want to align it towards the bottom. So you would, uh, you can turn off the, you can turn on the enable element selectors in the nav. Okay, so we're actually going to add our background here. And I already have the code in place. And of course I'll put this in the article. So you can see, so now that it's aligned to the bottom, um, looks much better. Uh, the next thing we're going to want to do is uh, the search box. Um, so let's get rid of the uh, submit button and that's easy it's just a matter of uh, telling it not to display the uh, search submit but now this is still looking a little weird so what we're going to want to do it's right now it's aligned to the top again so we're going to want to center it both ways So we'll do that. Go ahead and pop that in. Save some changes. Um, so now it's pulled. We need to mess around with the padding uh, for our search box. So we'll do that here. Okay, so search form padding. Looks like we want to. The top is probably okay. Um, we can actually probably bring it a little bit closer to the top. So our top padding will change that to five. The right, it looks like it's pushed all the way to the right. Um, so we'll change that to 20. <coughs> Bottom padding, change that to three. And left, we'll change that to 15. Now if we save changes, we do a refresh. It looks much better. So now the, our text is push over to the right, oh, push over to the left, but our magnifying glass that signifies that it's a search box, it's on the left. So we're going to want to move this search, this website text over to the right. And we can do that by going to the search form font, custom, and adding the alignment here. And now we're set to go. Cool. Um, now we can start messing around with the uh, header nav. So again, we're going to make this lobster. And we're going to make this text much bigger. Well, not much, but quite a bit. Um, we're not going to want the hover on the link. Uh, inactive color, we're going to use a... It's going to look a lot like the primary navigation. Uh, and take that off. Okay, so for the main background we're going to make it uh, transparent. Inactive, we'll make it transparent. Uh, the page hover, um, we'll 
go in and we'll make we'll find it so they used uh, like an image it has some curves in it you could definitely do that um, but for the sake of the tutorial what we're gonna do is just uh, make it a pink box okay so for the page hover and the active page we're gonna make them the pink boxes uh, for the main border we don't want one and we're not gonna want any uh, individual borders either So we'll save changes now if you hit refresh you're not gonna see anything because we haven't added a menu there so we're gonna go over to our widgets and add a custom menu to the header right. We're going to use the only menu we have. And then now if we do a refresh, well, we see that we have our uh, menu there. Um, so a couple things. If you looked at the PSD file, you'll notice that they have a little bit of a shadow. So let's go ahead and add that in so there's a little bit of a shadow and then our menu is pushed all the way to the left and we want to move it all the way to the right uh, let's take care of the shadow first um, we're going to go to Genesis Dynamic Design uh, header nav and then we're going to use the CSS builder here um, you basically point and click tell it what you want to do and put a couple of a few numbers um, and then, you know, you, uh, you hit insert text and for the shadow, for the numbers for these, we're going to do left, right, one, top, bottom, one, blur, two, and we're going to use this grayish. So hit insert text shadow and pixels. Um, and then here. We just cut and paste it in. So now if we do a refresh, we see that we have a shadow. Uh, now in order to move the menu to the right, it's just a matter of adding a little bit of CSS. And that CSS will look like this. And now we have our uh, header navigation moved all the way to the right. We'll pop that in insert it, save, and we're good. So I'm going to call it here now. It's uh, about 13 minutes. Um, in the next uh, video, we'll do, we'll start working on the content. So what our page is going to look like, what this front page is going to look like. Um, and then the video after that, we'll start working on the, <coughs> we'll start working on the, the front page, uh, the slider, and the three bottom widgets. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys soon.